Hey guys, it's Ovota here, Hip and Creative. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are in my front patio in which I am going to share with you how we decorated the front of our patio with some simple key items like flowers and pillows. Now this is what the front of my patio looks like right now. I know it's a bit plain and I do need some color in it and that's going to be in a future video but in this one I wanted to concentrate on how we cleaned up the front of our patio and added some pretty little flowers to just make the place a little more welcoming. So the first thing we did was power wash our patio. Our patio had years of dirt on it and we've been meaning to cleaning up for a while so last year my husband and I went and borrowed my father-in-law's power wash and got to work on cleaning up the front. Now if you want to use a power wash for your patio, you can definitely rent one from your local Home Depot or Lowe's. They tend to rent those out, but you gotta catch them at a good time because sometimes their equipment is already rented out and you won't be able to get them. And that's one of the reasons why we borrowed it from my father-in-law. Now look how clean this front patio looks. I really think it looks great. The only thing the power wash couldn't get was a little bit of that oil that was in the front. So if you do have any recommendations on how I can get rid of that oil, please leave me a comment down below. I would truly appreciate it. Now this is what the front of my garden looks like in front patio. It is a mess. We did plant some annuals or yeah, annuals last year and uh, they dried out, they died and I made a rookie mistake thinking that annuals meant that they would grow again but instead I was supposed to get perennials and so my plants died. I had to run out and get new plants and that's something that my husband and I did over the weekend. We went out, picked out some really pretty perennials and got to work filling in my front patio. So the first thing we did was line up the flowers as to what position we wanted them to look and we actually had to run out and get some more flowers because we ran out but that's not a problem we just we literally live five minutes away from home depot so it's not a big deal but my husband was nice enough to dig into the dirt for me because he knows i have back issues and he really wanted to help me out as much as possible so here he is planting the flowers and um working on the front now my daughters and i did help him by cleaning up the rest of the dirt and, and making holes for him and pulling out all the weeds so while we were pulling out all the weeds he would go in and plant the flowers and afterwards we had some leftover mulch from last year when we tried to plant the annuals last year and so we had about two and a half bags of mulch left over which was great because we used up about two and a half bags worth of mulch just in the front of our patio and some of the flowers that we put in potted plants. Now I am going to be posting the names of the flowers in the description box below so you'll have an idea of what these perennials are called. We also got some hanging baskets as well that were perennials. I thought they were very very pretty and I am definitely going to get some more but slowly but surely I'll be adding perennials to my collection. Now here are the hanging baskets I mentioned as well as the finished product with my perennials on the bottom here. I really love the way everything came out. I am very happy with it. I will be adding some more decorative elements to this project, but this is just stage one, which is just cleaning it up and getting into the look I want it to. And from here, I am going to be adding some lights, some more flowers, some pillows, and maybe a colorful area rug, as well as some extra seating and storage for the pillows. So guys, this is everything in an overview. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe and make sure to click that notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos I'll be posting. And until next time, guys, I hope you all have a truly wonderful day. God bless and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.